let's get straight into it what's up YouTube and today we're gonna show you how I list things in my process and how I do things okay so um, this what you see right here is called merch informer okay they fucking rock okay you wanna get their uh, extensions so you wanna go over to Google merch informer extension um, damn I've had it so long I don't know which one it is so you can really download all of these okay it's gonna help you so you download this one the trademark protection um, ads instructor all, all the things to say merch informer they rock just download their shit anyway support okay so then when you get that done so we'll go back over here so what I do is you know you get the design out of your computer files and then all you got to do is drag it straight into this and it'll pop up on all your designs. So first thing first, um, I never, ever, ever use used shirts, okay? Um, only time I ever do it is that the design is strictly for kids and that's it. Because um, if you don't use the right keywords and you get rejections... Um, it's not good. You can get a strike on your account for posting, um, any keywords that you wouldn't want on a kid's shirt or just anything that's not appropriate and they're really strict. So I just like to stay away from it. Like on this platform, you just want to stay away from trouble. Like if you can ride this account out and, and keep this account forever, you know, I see people making 10000 $20,000 a month that are in my Facebook groups so it's like you you, you want to keep a clean account you know don't don't get on these people's YouTube channels that are telling you to do all this bullshit and all this close to copyright shit just to write up your account you're gonna lose your account and then none of this shit will be worth it you just a waste of time so slow and steady is better than you know than, than being on the bullshit so this is a design I made a while ago um I do not do political shirts anymore because merch keeps changing their their terms. Uh, people keep copywriting different shit so they can sell it on Amazon and make people take their stuff down. So I try to stay with evergreens and stuff that is, you know, nothing close to anything copywritten, anybody's intellectual property, anything like that. So when you put a design in, um, you want to choose all the things where it makes it you know your design visible you know so you you know what I'm saying so all this all the the all of the colors you feel like it'll look good like okay I would buy that okay uh, okay no I wouldn't buy that I wouldn't buy you know that's kind of how I choose um sometimes I might just put one color um because of simple fact is sometimes sometimes that helps you know um it's like so people are not spending so much time like ooh shit which color looks better you know it kind of it, it'll kind of uh, boost your your conversions but at the same time there's certain shirts that I like to put every single color that they would like because sometimes they'll buy two you know what I'm saying just like Say say you put a, a security shirt up that just says security and people are buying it for work, you know, and they might want them to match their outfits sometimes. So you want to put multiple colors. It's just certain situations you would want to do that in. Um, so I always start out on 1307 because you'll start to notice that once somebody buys your shirt once, it's like a momentum thing because you get a BSR rank, which is a bestseller rank. So, um, basically, when a shirt sells once, it's going to sell again, basically. So, if you got to sell the first one free to start making money, then that's what you got to do. Then, after it sells, you can bump up the price. So, that's what I do, okay? Um, sometimes I get stubborn and be like, oh, I really like this design. $17.99, it never fucking sells, you know, until I make it thirteen oh seven, then bump it up. So, that's just... um my advice to you um so um when i upload i only do the standard first especially when i'm doing a new niche because if your keywords um 
trigger rejections, then you're going to get a rejection for every item you chose. So, so say I, I wanted to upload all four of these, right? Um, I would get a rejection for all four instead of one if I just started off with the standard. So we're just going to do the standard, right? So let me tell you about how I do my keyword research. Um, so let's scroll down. So this is already something I had in there from a shirt that um, I took down. It ended up selling too with these keywords, but... Um, Damn, I was really keyword stuffing like a motherfucker. I don't really do that like that anymore. But let me show you how I um how I um make my bullet points. So what I do is easy. So I had you guys download Merch Informer. So that's another thing it does. So I sit here and I typed in Camilla Harris T-shirt, right? So this is what another thing the extension does. So it's showing you what Amazon um, suggests. It shows you um, what this is what everybody else that's been selling on the first page. This is their keywords. So these keywords are taken from these, all of these on the first page. So all I do is I will copy this. Go back here, put it in here, right? Go back, copy this, go back here, right? See how to get an adjust. Come back here. Um, depending on what's in here, I'll copy this too, right? Put it in here, right? So what I'll do is, is I'll go through and find all of the best words and I'll copy it in here and try to make a full sentence with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, okay, that one's ranking good. Okay, let me make sure I make this word in here. You know, let me make sure I put this word in here. Let me make sure I put this word in here. You know what I'm saying? And so after I put those words in here and I make them full sentences here, um, I just delete this. Like, okay, I'm done with all this. Boom. And then at the end, make a title. Never put the brand as the same title. Um, so I put my title in... Uh, Maybe Camilla Harris, Black History. I don't want to put Chucks and Pearls. That's what it used to be. This is what it, but but somebody copyright that. But if it wasn't copywritten, that's what I would put. You know, Chucks and Pearls, whatever, right there, right? So then when you get done with your title and your brand and your bullet points, what you do is, this is how, pay attention, this is how you don't get rejections on your niches, right? So... What you want to do is push this trademark button, right? Wait a second. Okay. So what you do is you click it, click one of these, and look at all the trademarks. So the ones we want to stay away from are the ones that say 25 because that's for the clothing, right? You want to stay away from 09s too if you're doing pop sockets or phone covers. But I'm only doing the shirt, so I want to stay away from 25. So, um, so there's nothing really in here. Usually these one word ones you don't really have to worry about because they're like words people use every day. So if it's in your keywords, you should be fine. Um. So, boom, this one's fine, right? Keyword's good. Boom. So, now that I made this design, I'm going to make 10 other shirts that are just like this. So, this is how you save your keywords, right? You would come down here and you would click um, Save as Template. So, now, when you save it as a template, every time you upload a shirt like this, you just come to this drop-down. 
and you would open this right here and you would I'm not going to show you because it'll show you all of my niches and all my keyword research but you would click it you would click this little thing right here and then all of them will, will, will be right here like all your different keywords drafts that you did and then you click this and then boom all of your keywords are up here again so you can be fast download you already checked your keywords you can just keep uploading keep uploading right change your title a little bit keep your same keywords and yeah and that's how I do it and that's how I'm efficient you know you want to come do your keyword research first then you want to go do your designs because you want to make sure that you can use all of the words you want to put on your shirt or you know anything like that so um, that's just a prime example. If you guys have any questions or have any other videos explaining this better or anything in merch, just comment below. Give me feedback. Let me know what you guys want to see, what will help you. And, um, I'll definitely make a video. Um, but if I helped you at all or change your perspective, um, on merch or how you do your workflow, um, just comment, like, and subscribe, follow me on my journey. And, yeah, have a blessed day, y'all, man. Get to the grind. Get to the money.